Hey everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I am IcelTPW and today Minecraft have dropped two major updates. One, a massive update to the game with 1.14.3 being released today and also a new launcher for the Minecraft Java edition. This is the new launcher here. The aesthetics of it are really beautiful and you get this whole big screen here to be able to work with. You've got your settings down here. You have your game type up here, you've got your play button here, and you've got all of the different versions that you have installed here as well. So I'm going to take you through a few things on here, but first I'm going to show you how to download this. First you're going to need to go to minecraft.net and you need to log in with your account. And once you've logged in, you can then just go to download. And once you've verified your account, you can go download for Windows. On the bottom left hand side of the screen you'll say this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep Minecraft installer? Keep, press keep. That's just an automatic warning that Windows throws up for any Java files. Don't need to worry about it. And you have your Minecraft installer. You can open up that and you get this window. And welcome to the Minecraft launcher setup wizard. Press next. And I've already got this installed so I can't install it again so I can repair it or remove it. So you get the option here to install it and all you need to do is press next and then finish and it will launch up the launcher. So you can press finish, open up your launcher and this is what you get. So I'm going to put this in full screen. I really like how you can window this and make it full screen also. So we've got our accounts over here so obviously ISIL TPW is connected. You've got your news here. It gives you the pre-release updates for 1.14.3, etc. But 1.14.3, the official has now dropped as well. You can manage your accounts as well from Minecraft.net. And on the Java edition here, you've got four tabs up here. You've got play, installations, skins, and patch notes. So play is quite simple. If you've got to press play and enter the game. But before we go into that, we'll look at installations. So you can see all the different versions that I've installed here, all the way down from 1.14.3, 1.13.2 with Forge, 1.14.2 with Forge, uh, 1.8.9 with Forge, etc. You can see your latest played, so you can filter. I've only got stable versions here. Uh, historicals, I don't have any historicals either. You've also got a skins tab here, and it says coming soon. Skins will be coming back to the launcher soon. For now, go to Minecraft.net. So this is great. You will no longer have to go to Minecraft.net to do your skins. You'll be able to do them on the launcher itself. And a great feature here as well is the patch notes. So these are patch notes for 1.14 and these are the overall patch notes for anyone that's maybe returning to Minecraft or if you're just wondering what are the new changes in the latest updates. You also have in the bottom here settings. And this is just a few settings. Automatically send crash reports to Mojang. Open output log when games start. Keep the launcher open when, while games are running. Click back in here to Java edition because there is something I do want to show you because this is different from the old launcher. Down here you can select which game type you want to play, so if you're playing on your server, if you're playing on a Hypixel and 1.8.9, or if you're playing on any of the other four versions of Minecraft. But up here on the installations, there's some important things to know. And for example, when I click on this here, it's giving me options here to be able to change the settings of this version of Minecraft that I'm using. So it says it's the Minecraft 1.14.3 official, I can change that to whatever. So 1.14.3 official, it tells me which version it is, it also tells me the resolution. And it gives me a few options here, so this is really great. In the past you needed to remember what was the resolution. So mine is a 2K screen and it gives you the options for your screen. So if you have a 4K monitor, it will also give you the 4K monitor options in here. But if you have a full HD screen or if you want to play Minecraft in full HD, it'll be 1920 by 1080. I prefer to have mine at a higher resolution of 2560 by 1440. And it'll automatically select that for me now. But if I change that to 1080p, so you can see it automatically changed it to 1920 by 1080. You can also change your game directory here, clicking in browse and finding your Minecraft folder. This is a lot easier. A lot of people find it difficult to find their Minecraft folder. It is hidden away in the app data folder and in the roaming folder as well. So people find it difficult to find that. Now you have a much easier way of finding it. You can also click on more options. And this is really important because over here, you have your JVM arguments. 
this is where the amount of RAM you've allocated over to Minecraft is. What I would recommend is that you're using half of your RAM for Minecraft, up to a maximum of eight gigabytes of RAM usage. And what do I mean by that? So if you've got four gigabytes of RAM in your computer, then I would give two gigabytes of that over to Minecraft. And all you would need to do is highlight that there, or else just click in there and type in two. If you've got eight gigabytes of RAM in your computer, then I would change this to four. Or if you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, I would recommend putting eight in here. If you've got anything more than 16 gigabytes of RAM, I wouldn't go any more than the eight gigabytes that I've just typed in here. I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM on my computer and I wouldn't put any more than eight gigabytes in here. And then you would press save. It's amazing how much faster Minecraft plays when you've allocated more RAM over to the game. You can press play here if you wish, but if not, you can just go back to the play screen here and press play. And as per normal, your Minecraft loads up and you're in the game. It's a beautiful new launch for Minecraft and those settings should help you to have a better game experience as well. Uh, have a play around with the launcher, feel your way around it. It's anything new can be a little bit of a change and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I really like this new launcher for Minecraft. Anyway, that's it for me. Really hope that you enjoyed this very quick video. I'm TBW, and I'll see you again in another one. Bye-bye.